Hey Jens, Shaggy here, and we are at the Moffa Lights. We're out here at the daytime because obviously, you know, want to see stuff in the day and at night. So who knows, maybe we'll get kidnapped by spooky, spooky aliens. Probing is always involved. So this is the observation platform here. And the whole situation about this place is that off in the distance, woo, distance, they're actually all nighttime lights that a lot of people think, oh, aliens, swamp gas, weather balloons. Yeah, name it. People think about it. But it's way out here in the distance. But this is the observation platform. And over here is where the interstate's at. So here is the plaque for it. Woo, spin the camera. Mafia mystery lights are visible on many clear nights between Mafia and Pasino Pass as one looks towards the Shintanta Mountains. I'm mispronouncing these horribly. The lights may appear in various colors as they move about, split apart, melt together, disappear, and reappear. Robert Reed Ellison, a young cowboy, reported sighting the lights in 1883. He spotted them while attending a horde of cattle and wondered if they were Apache Indian campfires. Apache Indians believe these eerie lights are to be stars drop into the earth. Many viewers have theories ranging from scientific to science fiction as they describe their ideas of aliens and UFOs, ranch house lights, St. Elmo's file, or headlights from vehicles on US 67, the Presidio Highway. Some believe the lights are an elect electrostatic discharge, swamp gas. Gotta always give it up for swamp gases. Moonlight shining on veins of Mirka, of ghost of conquistadors searching for gold. Okay, conquistadors, always nice. An explanation as to why the lights cannot be located is as an unusual phenomenon similar to a miracle or atmospheric conditions produced by the interaction of cold and warm layers of air bending lights so they can be seen from away, but not up close. The mystery of these lights remain unsolved. Spooky. So, only thing that's actually here is two restrooms. There's a men and a women in the building here. There was no, like, you know, interior area with, like, information. Nothing like that. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's just, here's the observation platform and here's two restrooms. Obviously, the men's restroom. And these plaques over here where they really don't say anything, they just thank you. In appreciation, the Mall for Mystery Lights viewing area was made possible by a generous donation of property from Clayton and Modicia Williams. And again, as always, I butcher names. So let's see what's out here on these plaques that Rid Ray is looking at right now. And here is on one of these things, just looking around, panning. There is Red Ray off in the distance doing his thing. But yeah, like look at the scenery here. This is amazing. We'll probably get to try and come back out here at night so we can see the lights get abducted. <sighs> Try to stabilize this here a little bit, but I can see all the mountains out here in the distance. Let's do a little bit of a zoom in. Ooh, zoom. <sighs> but, uh, all those mountains out in the distance. Dotted around this landscape here are a bunch of little monuments with plaques on them. And mostly they just talk about the geographical layout, like the fauna. Hey, this is why the mountains have these names, things like that. Um, this one here is just about the history of the region, how there is a rail line from Kansas City to Mexico, and how Mafa, Texas, pretty much originated from that one. But everything else is pretty much about the fauna of the region. Hey, here's the Native American tribes that settled in the region, things like that. Nothing insanely, insanely interesting, just pretty much 
facts about the area, obviously, even though I've already said that like once or twice.